Northern Illinois Food Bank is planning to give away 40,000 pounds of fresh produce to needy families today. It's happening in Joliet, and joining us now via FaceTime is Julie Yurko, who is the president and CEO of the Northern Illinois Food Bank. Good morning. Good morning. Ramping up for another big Saturday. This is the second weekend you guys have done this, and there's been a huge turnout. That is true. This is our second um, pop up produce. Market and last week we had over 750 families join us to get some wonderful produce that they need. Yeah, and this all this gave away took place in Geneva, and you were able to do that in four hours. Yes, yes, we started the distribution officially at 10, but families showed up early, so by 9:30 we were loading up their cars and we finished around one o'clock in the afternoon. Tell me about some of the food that you guys will be giving away today. Thanks to our wonderful partners of Amazon, Walmart, and Trader Joe's, we are giving out all fresh produce. It's apples, berries, bag salad, fresh greens, potatoes, onions, and more. Yeah, and this is typically food that a lot, it's, it's, it's somewhat expensive, and it's a little bit more difficult for some families to get out and get. Yes, that is true, and it's food that we don't often get donated in these amounts. To our food bank and our food pantry, so it's highly demand. You know, highly demand. Everyone mm -hmm. wants wonderful fresh produce, and we don't often have it. So it's a, it's a real bonus. So people that may be listening at home that want to come out, what are some of the requirements that are uh, necessary in order to get uh, a basket of food? Sure, um, just show up. We're at 171 South Larkin in Joliet, and um, it's a drive-through model. So we're practicing social distancing. And you just have to show up. We're going to ask you um, how many families you're providing the food for, and we're going to load it into your car. So no documentation needed that you're a family in need, or this no. is just for whoever and whomever. Yes, we know, you know, 22 million Americans filed for unemployment in the last few weeks. We're seeing uh, double the need here in the suburbs of Chicago. So we know there are families in need, and they are welcome to come and get some really terrific products so that we make sure that they have full bellies tonight. Yeah, you know, Juliet, I just have to ask you this. I've been watching on the news in some other states where there's food that's going to waste, either it's milk or some produce or something like that. Is there any effort to try to connect with some of these farms to try to get some of this produce so that maybe you could get to other families that are in need? Absolutely, absolutely. So we have been talking with farm bureaus and farmers to try and bring some of that food into our network. Oh, um, okay. It, it is truly, it's just, you know, it's a challenging time for all of us. And the farmers, our food producers, are trying to figure out how to get food to those in need. And so we're talking to all of them, trying to bring that in to make sure that we all have the nutrition we need over the next few, few weeks, few months, and few years. All right, Julie, I'm so glad to hear that. Good luck to you guys today. As I mentioned to you earlier, <laughs> you want to have a great event, you want to have a great turnout, but unfortunately, it's because people are in such need. So yes. good luck to you guys. Thank you. And may I quickly add that if someone is in need, mm -hmm. they can call us at 844-600-SNAP, mm -hmm. and we will help them find um, food within their communities. Um, there's enough food. We're here, and we're here to help. Right. No one should go hungry. Julie, yeah. thank you so much for joining us this morning. The Northern Illinois Food Bank, again, will be giving away fresh produce at its Joliet location. It's at their South Suburban Center on Larkin Avenue from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. And one of the people that will be helping to distribute the food in Joliet is our Chenna Liggins. You may recall that she was named as the winner of our Remarkable Women's Campaign last month. The campaign spotlighted four women who made a tremendous impact in the community. Uh, by contributing and self-achievement and family impact. So our Chana's full story you can see along with the other three remarkable women that were finalists. Visit WGNTV.com slash remarkable women. Our Chana had a lot to do with setting up today's event down in Joliet.